Hey, today we are going to be doing this kind of super graphics thing in cavalry. Bear with me because it is going to be lots of fun. By Hulk 79. So let's go into a new composition here. And what I have is just a text layer here set in Arial Black. And this is a one, but I'm going to play with a point, a dot. Uh, in the case of Arial, it is a square. So I'm going to turn this red and I'm going to go to the stroke up here. I'm going to activate it and I'm going to throw the black in there. So I think that's nice. I'm going to make it way bigger. That's nice. I center it. And now I'm going to copy paste it several times and I'm going to deal with the character spacing which is the tracking or the distance between letters I'm going to copy paste it again and you can see where I'm going with all this because I'm going to create these super graphics out of just uh, a glyph uh, character so the next thing that we need and this is very very important is in the formers I'm going to add a sub mesh so that I can have access to the individual characters uh, of this text layer and then if I click twice in the sub mesh I have all these settings I'm going to change the position let's say that I want to deal with the position vertically and you, you see that I'm mo moving all, all the text layer, all the characters together as a block. But if I go into the falloffs tab here, I can right click as it suggests and I can add a falloff. Okay. And that way you see here the falloff and it, does, it is also represented in the preview panel. If I move it around, and um, let's say I double click it and I increase a lot for example the strength like 300 something like that you see that is affecting the different glyphs as it goes over them so I can even like just make it bigger and it's going to move them al along so if I go to the sub mess and for example let's say that in behavior I add also some rotation I can have this kind of rotation of changes that look super nice uh, and then let's let's go deeper into this okay so I'm going to make this bigger and if I go to falloffs uh, or better if I click twice on the fall off to go directly into all the settings we have something super interesting here which is the fall off graph and if I open it I can change how things are treated in a way so I have these different presets so that's super super interesting okay uh, and yeah that's that's amazing so you can either animate this fall off. Let's say that I create a keyframe here in the X in the position. I go forward and I move it to the right. So that means that that's going to be an animation. So let's go back because this is just a basic basic tutorial so that you can then create your crazy super interesting stuff so let's let's go again okay so I'm going to e erase this sub mess and the fall off so I have this that now they are dots but let's say that they are ones now so some very nice ones here so the first step if you remember was going into the deformers and then we added a sub mess deformer there Okay, here. Then we went into the sub mess and we here into the fall off we added uh, a fall off. Okay, you can either 
start creating the behavior before and then adding the file off or vice versa it doesn't make any difference so right click add file off and and yeah now that file off is going to affect or apply uh, the values that we have in the sub mess here it was in this case the rotation uh, and yeah that's super interesting okay so have a, have a play with it uh, and remember to keep exploring stay creative and more importantly have lots of fun <laughs> Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.